So what we've got here is the PA VB unloaders. These are the VB9, one with switch and one without switch. So what you've simply got there is the inlet side from the pump. You've then got the high pressure outlet side on the outlet side. Inside there is a non-return which we'll speak to you about. We've also then got the return bypass port. So what simply happens here, that can return back to the bottom side of the pump. You can also, if you wanted to, just dump the water on the floor or you can return it back to a water tank on the bypass side. When you're setting and loader up and everything else, what you've got to be careful of is you set it up with the correct size of the pump to, that matches the, the actual litres and the pressure. So if you've got a pump that's W112 for instance, 100 bar at 12 litres a minute, you'll be putting an 05 jet in there. What you'd be expecting when you're pulling that trigger with an 05 jet in the lance, you'd expect just to have a slightly wanting a slight mist of water to come out of that bypass port. That is the best way of setting it up so there's a slight mist and mist only coming out of the bypass port. The other way of setting it up is actually pulling the trigger and slowly screwing the knob down further and further, keeping hold of the, the lance and you'll feel the lance picking up on pressure. When it gets to a stage where it's not picking up any more pressure, turn it back half a turn and lock it off. So what I'm simply going to do is show you how to set up that unloader because people don't realise there's more adjustment on an unloader than people realise and I'm just going to run through it with yourself. What we're going to do is take the black knob off first of all and we'll show you from there. So what I've done is take the knob off and what you'll find is you'll see the distance and the distance I'm talking about is from there to there. You've got a little grub screw here and what simply happens is that can be altered. You've got adjustment there. Sometimes they can be set in all different places when they come to ourselves. So what we simply do is we take this little grub screw out, which is there. And what we'd simply do is we'd screw this right up behind the 27 mil brass nut on the top. That's a 24 mil, one's a 27. So what that means is you've got this movement on this spring. Underneath there, you'll also find you've got a nut that this is gonna work up behind. So if you're running that machine and you're get, pulling that trigger and you're doing it either way via pulling the trigger or actually watching what water's coming out of the bypass port, what you'd simply do is you could screw this down you might get to a stage where the pressure started to pick up, which it should be doing at this stage when you're screwing this down. You might have got to maximum pressure at this stage, the trigger's lifted, it's gone as far as it possibly can, it's not picking up anymore, but sometimes what you might need to do is simply start screwing the bottom one down. That then tensions this load up on this spring. At this stage, obviously, you're putting more strain on the system, it's then making less water come out of the dump side, and it's setting it up correctly. What you're wanting to do is set this up so you're at the maximum pressure but you've also got a slight drizzle of water coming out the, the actual dump end of the actual pipe itself. So like I say, what we've simply got is the adjustment there. You would lock this off and put the grub screw in there. That means that you can't over tension this unloader. Once it's set up, you can screw it all the way down, it's set up, you're not going to put strain and stress either whether it's on an engine or whether it's on a motor, it's not overstressing the actual system itself that it's running on. And that will save problems. We also mentioned, we've also got in here, like all the others, you've got the non-return. So what we've got here is the bullet, which we spoke about, there's a spring inside there. And what simply happens is sometimes on the system, you might have the system where the machine is surging on the engine or surging on the motor, zhup, zhup, on off, on off, on off, yeah. Or your gun's okay, no problem, and it can just simply be this non-return bullet, and that simply sits inside that seat there. So that's all it simply is, it could be a bullet that's needing replacing. We're then going to run in a minute or two, what we're going to show you is also how the micro switch works on the VB9 with switch. So, we'll... so what I've done is take the cap off the switch, you can see how it works. At the moment in time, obviously your machine's got no pressure, it's, you're not you not actually turn the machine on. You come to turn it on, there's no pressure, there's no load on. And what I've simply got here is a micro switch. If we put a meter on, you want that machine to, as soon as you turn the machine on, you're needing a message to make that machine start, which you can see. You're getting a message. So that machine would automatically start, start up. But when you let, come to let go of the trigger,
and the pressure becomes built up on the system itself, it knocks off. So when you let go of the trigger, the machine itself is under load. Let go of the trigger, the machine then gives you a message to continue working. So if you've got a contact in the system, whatever, let go of the trigger, no message. Pull the trigger and off you go again. And that is the mic switch system. So if you've got a system where the machine is jumping and stopping and starting, that's all that's simply happening is maybe the bullet in the non-return that's causing the problems is on a contactor. Jip, jip, jip. Non-return. And like I say, that's how it works and that's how it's set up. Thank you very much. Q Washers, Q Services, eBay and YouTube.